okay is the motherfucking record button on. The motherfucking record button is on. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I honestly don't know if that last one was 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 the what was this motherfucking battery lasted two minutes or was I just too fucking drunk to hit the record button? Uh, anyway, let me start this all over again. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> one more time. It is uh, actually a gray gloomy night here in the end times and the collapse of everything here in this uh, converted old tool shed in this rodent infested probably plague hantavirus covered uh, goddamn newest uh, nightmare I have created that I have manifested in my just uh, ever downwardly spiraling uh, just fucked up uh, life uh, here on it is a Saturday night it is Saturday night the last day of summer of 2024 and of course uh, being Saturday September 21st 2024 of course what it is also as you guys uh, probably figured out, it, it is my last day of my entire life that uh, I am officially considered middle age in approximately right about eight hours from right now, I will be officially, officially inducted to the uh, just decrepit, a uh, bitter, angry, lonely old man with broken teeth stranded without love club uh, joining uh, millions of uh, my, my fellow decrepit old fart uh, lonely heart men and women where tomorrow I can officially begin my new life of sitting around waiting to die, which is what I am going to dedicate the rest of my life to doing, sitting around waiting to die. But as long as I have eight hours, I'm going to, uh, I think this is volume three of, uh, uh, the the chronicle of my my head first collapse in, in, in to just uh, whatever the next chapter holds in my, in my puny worthless life as I enter my golden years in eight hours from now and uh, can't wait to see where that goes. So this is the third night that I have, uh, you know, upped my my tequila intake uh, by 50%. I'm, I'm 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 trying out my old life of you know the the first couple of years of middle age of being a roaring alcoholic uh, you know alcohol it does have things to recommend it uh, I, uh, I, 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 I've got to say uh, you, you know it's pretty much any alcoholic will tell you that the more you drink, the more you forget about, uh, or, or I don't know if forget about, but it, it, it just blunts 
it, 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 it blunts the pain of, uh, uh, of it, 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 at least sitting around alone with your thumb up that your ass uh, night after night, week after week, month after month, year after year. So this was, this, this was a real tough one to predict. On my very last night, as a middle-aged man, uh, a Saturday night, sitting alone with my thumb up my ass, with, with, with my little dog, sitting in this fucking converted old tool shed behind this tumble-down shack uh, uh, on the, by the side of a road in the middle of fucking nowhere, which is uh, where I have brought myself to, uh, so what is it, in the last six hours, I have lost over $600. I have manifested flushing another $600 down the toilet today uh, over this, this uh, plague of rodents. Uh, just, you know, uh, just, just, just mocking me, uh, make, making, uh, it is absolutely, uh, ma making an absolute fucking fool out of me, costing me thousands of dollars, uh, I, I'm probably will end up selling this goddamn place, uh, uh, and, and getting the fuck out of here. So I'm just putting it out there that if anyone wants to pick up the, uh, picking up the pieces of my dream shattered, or should it be my alcohol shattered dreams, uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm is for sale. So, uh, I'm not giving the place away but uh, if anybody wants to buy this place uh, on 14 acres of land uh, in the Finger Lakes of New York, uh, you know I'm not that hard to find, but I'll probably be thinking about that more in a few months. But today, other than thinking about watching hundreds or thousands of dollars uh, just, just slip through my fingers going down the fucking toilet. Uh, I, I've, I've also been spending, and, and it's weird how this happens. You know, when, when you when you wake up in the morning, uh, the two things on my mind, obviously, waking up this morning with, with surprisingly no hangover. Uh, from last night, uh, the, the, the two subjects on my mind today have been loneliness and trust. Uh, I probably spent three hours uh, lying here in the bed staring at the ceiling this morning, starting out my last day as a middle-aged man thinking about loneliness and trust and then they and, and, and then what happens I, I turn on the mainstream media uh, and what do I find is this long article talking about this new research into the loneliness epidemic among men that uh, and, and, and then what I've been doing the past two and a half hours is uh, over there on soft white underbelly, uh, Mark for the second time has brought on this uh, divorce lawyer uh, named James Sexton. If you haven't seen a two and a half hour long interview, and uh, I watched every minute of it. I'm sorry, Sandy. Uh, 
uh, I will get back to your uh, Project 2025 show uh, some other day. Uh, just I I I anyway, highly recommend James Sexton under Soft White Underbelly to go both watch both of those interviews uh, just, just for a reality check about the fairy tale of finding your soulmate. But I might get back to that later in the in in in, in the rant. So uh, there there was some good news uh, in this uh, epidemic of male loneliness. Uh, they, I guess they were mostly talking about this country. And, you know, they were talking about all the, uh, the negative health effects that lonely men suffer. Uh, there was heart disease, stroke, uh, dementia, uh, about, you, you know, how men, how, how ba basically, uh, old men with broken teeth stranded out stranded without love sitting around in all of these various whatever uh, sitting around alone you know talking uh, talking about dementia uh, you, you know talking to their little imaginary friends out there uh, but the strongest correlation that doctors have found between lonely men and uh, negative health effects, hallelujah, is a 60% correlation between social isolation and premature death that, uh, that socially isolated men uh, that spend their entire lives uh, sitting around every night with their thumb up their ass. Now they didn't. They didn't bring alcohol into the equation, but it probably is part of it that uh, that socially isolated men uh, have a much higher chance of dying prematurely. Hallelujah. So there is a, uh, a silver lining in the cloud of being a, uh, a you know, an old man with broken teeth stranded without love is I have a 60% chance of dying uh, before my shelf life. What, what, is, what is it now? What are men supposed to live to? 76. So... Uh, I, I, I guess I have a 60% better chance of not making it, what, 11 more years or something. So that was encouraging. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I did find in this new research <coughs> that as long as I can just stay a, a uh, lonely old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, that it shouldn't be for too much longer. Uh, so that was good to hear. But, you know, t t talking about just, uh, you know, men in loneliness, just about how men will not admit that they're lonely. That the last, the last word that a man will use to describe himself is lonely. Uh, you know, men, they will admit that uh, they can't get a hard on. It used to be called impotence. Now I think it's called EDD, that men w would much rather admit publicly I cannot get a hard on anymore. They will admit that they're broke, uh, that they're that they're cowards, whatever. 
but uh, the word you will not hear a, a man publicly pronounce uh, to describe himself is lonely. And, and, and I was, and I'm thinking about this, and I honestly cannot think of one male friend of mine that I know that I have ever heard them say, I am lonely. That the, the very thought of, of a man admitting that he's lonely, that he's socially isolated, uh, and, and uh, that, that uh, it, it, it is the number one sign of weakness, uh, uh, it is the most emasculating term that, that, that it's more emasculating than being a limp dick to admit that you're lonely, that the, the, just the, 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 the whole, just how our entire competitive alpha male uh, society, the, it, it, it's, it, you could put a, a, a list of 50 adjectives to describe yourself with lonely being one of them, and, and 90, hell, uh, 999,000 out of 1,000 lonely men, uh, at, at least in this country, and probably on this planet, would put lonely at number 1,000, that to admit to be a man in, in this society into this fucked up, competitive, uh, winner-take-all, uh, assholes finish first, nice guys finish last, uh, you, 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 you know what I'm saying. Uh, the, the girls love the bad guys, whatever you want to call it, how men will not publicly state that they're lonely. Of course, the first word I use to describe it, if I have to describe myself in one word, it is not doomer, it is not depressed, it is not suicidal, uh, it is lonely. There you go. I, I just committed the most unpardonable sin that a man uh, can, uh, can, can admit to publicly state for the record the number one defining trait in my life is loneliness. There, there you go. I, I, I honestly, I, 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 I honestly do not know if I have ever heard a, a male friend of mine uh, say I am lonely. Yet in these anonymous surveys, uh, you, you know, where men don't have to publicly state it, that there, there's a fucking epidemic of it. And it and it's uh, now uh, 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 of course. I mean, this article is just talking about lonely men. I, I, I'm sure there's similar research about lonely women. But anyway, I just uh, you know I was thinking about that, and, and what is it? You know, they were at least implying that women don't have the same social pressure uh, against them that men have. Just for a man to admit he's lonely uh, is, is the most humiliating mark of a fucking loser. Lonely loser. And uh, men will, uh, they, 
I, I know a bunch of lonely men, and, and they're not fucking fooling me. Uh, what are some of the excuses? One of the main ones, of course, is I don't need people. I'm a loner. I don't need people. Fuck people. And we're going to talk, talk about that uh, in, 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 uh, in, 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 a, in a second. So, uh, anyway, I guess I am part of an epidemic. But, uh, so, you know, this, this whole thing about lonely men and, uh, Somehow, my my mind between all the mouse wars and shit has uh, a lot of my time today has been spent thinking about one of my other favorite subjects is trust, and uh, you know about all of these tough guys uh, saying how they don't need other humans and shit and uh, so I'm so, so I'm looking at this okay we're on a planet of 8 billion people we're on a planet of 8 billion people so I, I, I'm actually trying you know to analyze this I would say on a planet of 8 billion people that I am somewhere on the continuum between Dis outright despising to just not giving a flying fuck. You know, somewhere between not giving one flying fuck to outright despising, now what would that be, uh, out of 8 billion people, 7 billion 999,990,900. I think I my math is right through the alcohol haze here. So there are basically, I figure, on this planet right now, 100 people, 100 people, and this does not include my imaginary little friends on YouTube, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I, I know how much you think I love you, and I know how much you tell me you love me. I don't love you. You don't love me. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we, we, I, I, anyway, uh, I, I'm talking about real life people in, 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 in my life. Uh, there are probably maybe a hundred people in my life that are, are, are not somewhere on the continuum between not giving a flying fuck uh, 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 just having no interest in them to outright despising them. And I, uh, 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 I was thinking of that hundred, there, there, there's actually three people, well, I mean, four counting, counting myself, that, 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 that I actually wish were dead, that they just did not exist on the planet. Uh, me being the number one, of course, uh, Donald Trump uh, being in there, and, and some of the, you know, that, that, that I actually find myself every day spending energy wishing these people did not exist on this planet, that they were nowhere in my life. Uh, as I say, I am the number one person 
that I'm trying to uh, manifest off of this planet. Uh, you know, I, I do have some history with this, but you, you know, that fucking bitch down there in Florida. And I never did, you know, to this day, I want to make it clear, I did not ask the universe for that fucking cunt to kill herself, to put a bullet through her fucking head and do me and everybody else a big favor. All I asked the universe was, I don't want this person in my life anymore. And, and, and I actually spent every day, I, I, I would actually manifest deleting this human from my life. I, 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 I put no boundaries uh, on the universe. And of course, uh, you know, all, all I said was, when I get back to Florida, uh, this bitch can't be there. She can't be there. And two weeks before I headed back to Florida, she put a fucking bullet through her head, and she wasn't there. And uh, that uh, remind, <laughs> reminds me, I've, I've mentioned this uh, friend of mine, this, well, uh, Zira Zar. Her name was Zira Zar. She's the woman I've mentioned who cured me of hiccups for the rest of my life that I have never hiccuped one time since the year 2004 after she went like this in my esophagus and told me that ought to fix you up. But anyway, Zira was smart enough to die of cancer when she was, uh, I think Zero was 52 years old when we lost Zero. Uh, absolutely shocked everybody when we, when we lost Zero. But I, I had this flash of, of being at the party at, at Nathan's train stage jam Nathan, uh, he died of cancer uh, about six months ago. About, you know, about half the people I know are either dead of cancer or are dying of cancer right now. So this woman who's now dead of cancer at this party of, of this man uh, who is now dead of cancer, uh, she, she just came up just kind of out of the darkness and it, 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 just out of nowhere Zira goes she was Zira's kind of a witch uh, she goes you know Hambone is just the damnedest thing and I said what's that darling what's the damnedest thing she goes you know these people that are trying to fuck me not not having sex with her, uh, you, you know, the other, uh, these people who are trying to fuck me, they just keep winding up dead. And, and, and she looked into my eyes, these people who are trying to fuck me, they just keep winding up dead. And, 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 and she turns around and walks back off into the crowd. And, I, and I'm watching her walking away and going, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Was, was that a warning uh, to you, Hambone? Uh, it, 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 anyway, never mention it again. And then it wasn't that much later that she cured me of... Uh, that she cured me of, uh, uh, of hiccups, which I honestly can't remember whether it was at her house. I can't remember whether it was her birthday or my birthday. I guess it was her birthday. That, and then a couple of years later, she dropped dead. So maybe she was fucking with the wrong person. But anyway, I, I don't know. How, how did I get off on this whole story?
Oh, about trust. So uh, it, 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 anyway, I, so I, I, I've got about a hundred people, about 100, you know, flesh and blood living people on this planet that I have some sort of uh, connection to. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm talking about. Real life, not counting my little imaginary friends on YouTube, but real life people. There's probably about 100 of them left anywhere in my sphere of influence. Of those 100 people thinking through, there are four people on this planet that I trust right now. On the eve of my 65th birthday, there are four people on this planet that I trust to never fuck me. You know, by fucking me over. We all know what we're talking about. Four people. That I can trust that this person will never fuck me over. Four. They're all female. So, any of you dudes out there thinking that you're in the in, in, in the four, nope. There is not one male human being on this planet of four billion men that I trust as far as I can fucking throw them anymore. That my level of trust in, in anybody with a, with a dick and balls, uh, I, I, I don't care, dude, how much uh, we're friends. Uh, you know, uh, that we give each other a hug every time we see each other. We call ourselves brother to each other. I sure as shit don't trust uh, e e either one of my real brothers as, as far as I can fucking throw them. Uh, uh, e e e e you know, dude, uh, th th there's three elements that, that, that attract people. You know, I, I call it affection, respect, and trust. Well, affection's pretty easy. Uh, you, you, you know, uh, you can be affectionate with a fucking dog or whatever. That's an easy one. Respect, you know, you hear this shit that you have to earn it. And trust. Affection, respect, and trust. And uh, the affection is the easy one, the respect's a little tougher, but but, but I'm sorry, dude, I, I don't care how much we're buddies, uh, I, I don't fucking trust you as, throw, as far as I can throw your fucking ass. And, 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 and understand, dude, when I'm talking about any human being on this planet with a fucking dick and balls that I don't trust, it, 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 number one in the pack is me, so don't feel insulted, okay? I do not trust myself as far as I can throw myself, all right? So I am the number one man on the planet that I don't trust as far as I can throw myself, and I'm telling you, dude, I don't give a fuck who you are. Don't trust me as far as you can throw me. And, uh, you know, by that, it, it, it's, you know, 
and it, and, and it hurts me to say this, but by that, I, 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 I'm not talking about that there's not one man on this planet that I can try. You know, I'm not talking so much necessarily, you, you, you know, uh, about backstabbing me and fucking me over and ripping me off and, 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 and that kind of trust. I'm just talking about that there is no man that 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 I that I can trust, you know, just not to just not to fucking ghost me, blow me off, uh, and abandon me. Uh, there is not one male human being on this planet that 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 uh, it would it would surprise me. You know what I'm saying. That they, they, they fucking disappear. Uh, it, 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 it's just enjoy your bromances while you still can. And, uh, but there are four women left. I am, I am down to four. Uh, two of them are listening to this rant. And two of them never will listen to this rant. So a lot of you girls, you get close, but you don't you 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 don't make the cut. I I think the four of you, uh, at least the two of you listening to this, you know who you are. The two of you know who you are, and that's kind of an inside joke between the three of us. And so, anybody else, darling, I love you. I just don't trust you, not not to uh, just fucking uh, disappear out of my life. And, uh, and that kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. I trust fewer people. literally on the eve of my golden years than I have ever trusted in my entire life. That if 64 years of, uh, uh, of dealing uh, with other people, friendships, love affairs, whatever, uh, people, you, you, you can't fucking trust them as far as you can throw them. We're, we're, we're eight billion. We are, if not, you know, officially narcissistic, we are self-centered, looking out for number one, selfish, self-important, don't forget, as Don Juan would say, greedy, uh, conniving, uh, just, uh, we, we, we are a, a, a collective shit stain on the planet. The whole fucking lot of us need to go. We are irredeemable as uh, as that guy all raw Paul. Whatever happened to all raw Paul? We are irredeemable.
every fucking one of us. And I certainly include myself in that. We never should have been born on this fucking planet. And I wish every motherfucking one of us, obviously starting with myself, would go to bed and not wake up tomorrow. The, the thought of waking up tomorrow morning uh, at age 65, looking around these walls of this seven foot by seven foot converted fucking tool shed that, that I have manifested for myself, sitting here alone with my fucking thumb up my ass. Starting my new life uh, uh, of being a fucking drunk, sitting around waiting to die. And here come the rodents. What rodent do you see now? What rodent is that, Sanjay? Is that a mousy or what? Is it a mousy? Is it a rat? Can you hear the rodents gnawing? Anyway, you go get that, get that mousy like that. I'm going to uh, close the final curtain on middle age listening to rodents gnawing. This is my fucking life. Middle age. It's been fun. But I got a, hopefully, less than 10 years of sitting around waiting to die. Thank you, loneliness. Bye, guys. All right, little dog. Where is that? Where is, is, is the mousey up there? Where is the fucking mousey? Does the leopard have him or what? My life with the rodents.